welcome welcome back to my channel my name is tanoletus kosana and i'm featuring the mister well, you know, it's kosana <laughs> <laughs> I just did the sign yeah. <laughs> Okay So You guys know that we are in the wedding space And this is one of The first videos that We'll be doing Regarding weddings ne? Yeah, yeah. Regarding weddings mm -hmm. So we just First of many <laughs> <laughs> Well first of many I guess I hope We'll see Yeah so first um topic that we would like to maybe just discuss and maybe unpack uh, it will be the the regulations the wedding regulations because now we are regulated mm. so stay tuned and let's discuss that As you would know, we haven't been doing weddings for five months now, but finally the government has opened weddings again, but with restrictions. So we're just going to take you through the restrictions and unpack them and discuss what it means for us service providers or suppliers of the wedding space. There's an article that um, I have here about the, the new regulations and it's with uh, Business Insider. So the, the headline, all the new rules for weddings and brides must wear masks. Mm. So the new regulations that govern weddings and other functions have been gazetted. Only 50 people are allowed to attend a marriage ceremony. How do you feel about that? <laughs> um. It's tricky. It's tricky. We, we, we're already getting postponements because of the number. You know, we, we primarily serve African people. And you know, when, when it comes to African people, numbers are very important because the families are yeah. big. So it's, it's, it's a challenge. Yes, I have like one or two brides that are willing to embrace it. But in actual reality, most of them will, will not be able to sustain the, the number 50. So it's either they're going to do the weddings and break the laws or they're just going to move their weddings to a later date. Yeah, because as well on my side, a lot of brides have pushed their dates because they, they're not going to have 50 guests at their wedding. Like for them, it's not possible. Okay, so... The next one, everyone, everyone needs to wear a mask unless they are eating or drinking, and that includes the bride. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it, it's tricky because some weddings are long. Yeah. So how, how, how do you keep a mask for that long, you know? I, I foresee people wearing a mask to get into a venue. Yeah. But I don't see them keeping it throughout, you know. Yeah, because another thing is that shame the bride is about to guy make up or one thousand bukai bukai. We won't even get to see the you know the proper makeup on the bride. But it's for her safety at the end of the day. And unfortunately, you need to invest in a good makeup artist. That maybe, you know, is going to be there for a couple of hours so mm. that you can do your retouch, you know, for the photo session. But the bride has to wear a mask. The groom as well has to wear a mask. Um, I, th I think it's, it's also one of the reasons that's going to cause people to, to postpone their weddings, you know, because yeah. imagine just everyone wearing masks at, at your wedding. It, it's not gonna look nice. I'm, I'm, I'm talking from a photography perspective. I mean, going through tables, <laughs> taking pictures of people wearing masks. It's, it's. I'm not yeah. sure you'd want to look at your your wedding ten years from now and and everyone is just and be reminded them. how how bad the situation was at the time. You know, yeah. unless people are desperate to, to get married, I see them postponing their weddings further, just based on the masks. But another thing is that it's going to look untidy. Woo! 
imagine Mr. Skosana is wearing a situation mask with a nice suit. Next door is wearing a surgical mask, a blue. So yeah, it's going to be very, very tricky. I don't think it's going to look... Unless if uh, the, the, the bride maybe makes the same mask for everyone. Yeah, that's maybe that's it will be nice and uniform, mm. you know, for for the guests. Yeah, that's precisely what I was thinking. I mean, let's say you 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 make black masks for everyone. For everyone, yeah. It, it can look nice, you know. Mariano, imagine me rocking up with a nice pink dress to the wedding, and then umpa mask or or black. It's gonna look horrible on. on I wedding. think also you need to communicate it up front. Yeah, you know, know, let people know mm. that I'm going to be giving you black masks yeah. then maybe it, it will look better because yeah no it some look untidy and yeah. some 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 people don't even wash they they they, they use and reuse the same mask and then there's those surgical masks yeah that people look like they're in hospital it's it's difficult times but uh, but you, you know, have to do it like you have to do it because venues are not refunding people. Yes, yes. So yes. people now, because the wedding regulation, the, the wedding is allowed. So you are allowed to, to get married. So now you have to get married. Mm. So if your date is the 27th of September, for example, mm. and the wedding is allowed, your venue is not going to refund you. You need to go ahead with your wedding. Because you're keeping space for the people that are still coming. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I feel that I understand the frustrations of the venues because if if you move your wedding, then who's going to take, take that date. date? You know, yeah. it's it's all income at the end of the day, and nobody wants to lose money. Yeah, no. We certainly don't want to lose money, but from our point of view, we we can't we can't really force people to, to get, get married. married. Yeah. But I understand where the venues are coming from. And speaking of venues, I think we need to. Just go back to to the issue of fifty people and what it means for for business. Okay. You know what it means for different suppliers. suppliers. Okay, but before that, let's just talk about this one quickly. Um, so the next one, the regulations also require that weddings or function organizers and the owner or manager of the venue must ensure physical distancing of at least one point. What? At least one and a half meters between guests. Before we get to the business side, let's just discuss that one. <laughs> that one is so difficult because... It's difficult because now what does it mean? You, you, you're setting up round tables. Mm -hmm. Does it mean that instead of taking 10 people per table, you maybe you should take five. like four? Okay, I guess. One and a half meters is, is long. But so one and a half meters though. So instead of having ten people around the table, you'll have you probably people. just have four people, two facing each other and two facing each other. <sighs> but now, the, the, for me personally, the issue is that me and, like, for example, let's say we are invited to a wedding. Mm. We slept in the same bed. <laughs> we walked out of the same house. Mm. We drove in the same car. Mm -hmm. And then when we get to the venue, now we need to be apart. It doesn't make sense for me. Yeah. For me personally, mm. I feel like they should make it if, like, in terms of couples. Mm. So if me and you are together, maybe the next couple must be one point five meters away from us. Yeah, that's another way of looking at it. But uh, I'm I'm looking at it from a space point of view. Okay, no, that's fine. Will, will the table? Maybe if you're coming in couples, then you can sit three couples in a table. Then six of you. To yeah. this side, to that side, and to that side. Then it still allows that 1.5 meter or close. Mm. And then people can sit together. Because most of the time, people have plus ones. Yeah, exactly. So it would make sense in, in that case. Or oh, another option is the straight tables. At least that one, you can, <laughs> you can sort of count the Or maybe the space. Like if, if it's straight tables, maybe like the couples will be sitting across each other. Ah, so I don't know. You, so, like we do in the restaurant, I'll be sitting this side, and then you'll be sitting that side, and then we'll be like facing each other. Look, they they have to play around with with the setting, but obviously this 
possesses mm-hmm. like a, a challenges it presents challenges to mm-hmm. different people for us i don't I, I think for you as a as a designer not really for me as a photographer mm-hmm. not really but the venue the wedding planners mm-hmm. the deco people they they find themselves having to deal with That's that sort things. of challenge and then obviously a hall that usually takes 150 people or 200 people now mm. will be full <laughs> <laughs> with just 50 people, people but you because of social distancing yes you know mm-hmm. okay mm. so the next one i want us to go back to the 50 the number okay. of 50 before we go to the next let's one. go back to the number of 50 people like what does it mean because obviously um for some providers it's, it's a numbers game mm. you know the more guests are there, the more money they make. Even yeah. the venues, they charge per head. Yeah. So. So for for like deco, for example, yes. the the people that are setting up the the deco, they then, charge per they, head. Yeah. Because their packages would say for hundred people or this for fifty people. You know, what does it mean? Because we know. They rely a lot on numbers. Yeah. Does that mean now they have to raise charge their less. prices? <sighs> They have to raise their prices they because to. now they need to compensate. Probably the same amount of work that they put in every wedding mm. needs to be compensated almost the same, but with less, less numbers. So this poses but even that the challenge. Food, even the food at the venue, mm. get most of the time, maybe they charge like 370 per head. Yeah, it goes up to uh, like now, pro- five. Now, now <laughs> probably they're charging like 500 rand a head. Because they're losing. Yes. They're losing out on the number of people that, you know, mm. could have been at the venue. So, obviously, venues are then going to to increase their charge per head. Yes. And deco people are then going to increase their charge as well. Yes. Because, I mean, it's tough out here. And then you find service providers like us. I mean, yeah. I do photography and video. Whether there's 100 people there or 200 or 1,000, it's still the same, same. work. The amount of work is the same. same. But obviously, when, when people come back to us, they like, you know, co- because of COVID, COVID, can't we charge them less? No, nah, we can't. <laughs> we can't, no discount. We can't charge less because we are also in the same situation. Yes. And I don't think that when you go to your venue and mm. then... When you get to the venue and you say, oh, but then, you know, uh, it's been COVID-19 mm. and I feel like we should not do chicken anymore on our plate and we should do beef now because beef is cheaper. You'll probably pay the same price. Yes, yes. So even with us, I mean, we're in the same situation as everyone. You're still doing the same dress. I'm still I doing mean, the same dress. It's not like your beef I mean, or your lace is different because of... It's even worse now because the material has gone up. Exactly. The price of material has gone up. Exactly. So when you come back and say, Oh, Tando, you know what? Because it's been COVID-19 mm. and I didn't have this much amount of money. Guys, there's nothing I can do. I'm in the same boat as you. Like, I'm in the same boat as you. Now, instead of us doing a dress for 20,000, we can't do that anymore. Mm. It's either you need to take a dress that's less than that, mm. but if you're going to take the same dress and we haven't concluded in terms of materials and lace and all that, mm. <laughs> you need to pay Look, more. I mean, <laughs> the reality is that doing business pre COVID was less expensive yes. or the cost yes, definitely. for us was less versus now. Yeah. Just equipment on its own, the prices has gone up so much. Like you know, it, some of some of my colleagues hire staff. They don't mm. even uh, own staff. The staff. They hire staff. To hire equipment has gone up so much. Yet we are expected to to lower the prices. Yeah, you know? And, and f- for some of us, we haven't had income for almost five months. You know? yeah. we, we have things, we have debts, we need to recover. We have families that we need to feed. So Exactly. So I think we understand that a, a lot of people have lost jobs. Uh, yeah. Some have taken salary cuts. but It's been tough for everyone. To yeah. be honest, it's been tough for everyone. It's been tough for us as the wedding industry. Mm. It's been tough for 
everyone who, who's basically working in South Africa. Yeah. Guys, it's been tough. Even for a taxi driver, it's been tough. Exactly. But, you know, we need to, to move on. Yes, this thing is going to be... The pandemic is still going to be here. Yeah. And I don't see... I don't see South Africa moving past 150 guests in the in the future. You know. I think maybe the cap at some point will be like 100. And naturally, the, the prices are just going to go, go up. up. Obviously, we try to not outprice ourselves yeah. out, of, out of the market. But at the end of the day, uh, we can't be charging what we were charging pre-COVID. Yeah, no. As much as some people feel that we are expensive. There are those who feel like that we are, we are very, very affordable. Cheap or, we're very affordable. You well. know, so we're not gonna base our prices on a on a few individuals, yeah. but we're gonna base our prices based on is it sustainable for the business, yeah. and can it sustain our our lives, uh, and because, does it match yeah. the quality that uh, we yeah. produce? Because at the end of the day, we. We have to be conscious of what we charge, mm. though we feel that we should be charging more, but we need to be conscious and keep the pricing so that we don't price ourselves out of the market. market. Yeah. Because right now, a lot of companies are trying to recover. Yes. <laughs> we, we are trying to recover. <laughs> I'm trying to recover. Yeah. So imagine now if I'm charging people less for wedding gowns, then it means I'll never go back to what the situation was before COVID-19. Yes, yes. So, unfortunately, guys, no discounts. Ask is, <laughs> ask is no discounts. Because even the people, even flowers, I'm sure flower, you, I'm sure flowers are like super expensive now. Mm. There's no way that flowers are the same price. Because no, you get to a wedding with like, like run uh, what do they call them running flowers or whatever they yeah. are and those are like super expensive super expensive in january so imagine now how much those are gonna some be. of us sold our equipment just to <laughs> to survive exactly <laughs> to be able to <laughs> so eat people, so okay personally i didn't sell anything but because some i've people been did. fine yeah. but a, a lot of people sold their equipment because there was nothing coming in you know yeah and I, I mean there's 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 a lot of things that people went through i had to let go of one of my offices because like things were getting tough mm. and there was no way that I was going to keep that office at the same time. So things were really, really tough. Mm. And unfortunately you need to make decisions. And I had to make that call to say, you know what, I've got two offices. I need to let go of one in order for me to, to still keep my business and still keep it going. So yeah. We, there was a lot of tough decisions I mean, that a lot of people had to make. Some of us forgot that we're even a niche business. Like, we, we forgot that we only do weddings. weddings. Yeah, I found myself shooting newborns. <laughs> <laughs> I found myself yeah. doing a lot more maternity, <laughs> doing a lot more parties. Uh, just just to just, keep yeah, afloat, you, you know? know. To get by. So, we, we've also learned business lessons, lessons through, yeah, true. through this lockdown. Mm. And... We should push that going forward. And uh, before diverting too much, let's yeah. get back so to the, the regulations. One, um, they must ensure that stations are set up at entries to screen and sanitize people, uh, and sanitize people to stop those who are not wearing masks from entering. Uh, uh. You know this thing, uh, like taking people's temperatures and stuff. I feel like some of these things are not even accurate. What the devices? The devices are not accurate. Number one, I feel like some of the sanitizers must they are fake, so not everyone's got like proper sanit like sanitize. Like some of them don't even have like seventy percent alcohol. So I'm hoping that venues are like ensuring, Kore, like their their sanitizers are like the proper okay. ones. And I I feel happy, Kore, like if if the guest, for example, doesn't have a mask, mm. maybe the wedding planner or whoever should make provision to be able to be given a mask. It's an it's another option. Yeah. You know, uh, I feel as as a photographer and my team, we need to have our own. Yeah, like, no, definitely. Like we we must 
ensure of our own safety we shouldn't put yeah. our own safety yeah, in the hands, in the hands of, of anyone people. anyone else in the hands of the couple in the hands of the venue you know but that goes for everyone yeah it goes for everyone all the guests all the people that are working at the venue i think it should go for everyone yeah look i mean it it's no longer something that's we've we've been sanitizing for five yeah. months now uh, we've been putting on masks so that one shouldn't even be a concern. It's just the matter of the venues and forcing. Saying, yeah. You know? Because when a drunk person is, is, is drunk and their mask is off, what are you going to tell them? <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, sorry, uh, can you like put on your mask? Look, I mean, if uh, we are grateful that weddings are back and if, if we want to keep them, we need to ensure that everyone complies. Otherwise, yeah. we don't want situations whereby... Uh, like alcohol, they are reversed. The weddings are, yeah. are reversed. I mean, five months has been long enough. We we need uh, a situation yeah. whereby we all work together to ensure. I mean, even myself, if I spot somebody not wearing a mask, I need to be able to say, "Sir, can please you please put on put, your mask?" You know, because I'm not only protecting the people around him, I'm also protecting myself. Yeah. Because I'm all over the place. And like we don't know. They say this thing, you get it by touching its airborne. So we really don't know. So for safety, we just need to follow those regulations. I don't think it's anything hectic. We just follow the re- the regulations. Yeah. So um, I think maybe this is the last one that we're going to discuss. Microphones and podiums must be sanitized after use by every person. It makes sense. I mean... They do that even on TV when we're watching the president. But whose responsibility is that? Because now my, the problem is that I feel like it has to be someone's responsibility. Once someone is done with the mic, someone must be assigned to say the podium must be wiped down, the microphone must be wiped down. Because you can't trust MC number one. There's no way in hell you can trust an MC. Because some of these MCs out here. <laughs> I feel I feel like um, the couple should should make it their. So there must the, be someone the, who's they must assigned. allocate somebody to to do it. You know, it, it this whether it's a, not made of honor, but someone within family or some uh, close friend give somebody a task. You know, that once someone is done speaking, at the same time we also have our own microphones. Yeah, that we need to sanitize as so well. So we need to take care of our own equipment. Mm. You know. So yeah, it's it's we have to work together, but those are minor things. Okay. So I feel like there's 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 a lot of like cons, you know, in terms of having fifty people, especially in the photography thing. I feel like it's gonna be so good that there's only a limit amount limited amount of people. Yeah, I mean, the lesser the people, the easier to control the yeah. crowd, you know, because obviously there are times when we're shooting family, there are times when we're shooting guests, and it becomes a mess, because especially once they start drinking, then yeah. people become unruly, and you find that when you're trying to enforce things, they feel that you're rude, or but now, you're not a nice person, <sighs> but sometimes, you know, People don't listen at all. So yeah, it's it's one of those man. I it it has the cons and, and, and pros. We got to work with what we have. But now I'm I, I feel like um if like photo session for example. Yeah. Are we now going to be like, okay guys, the couple we're gonna take pictures of the couple and then the family, what happens to the family? Because now we all need to social distance. Are we shooting with the family? Are they going to be like in close groups? Like what's, how are we dealing with that? No, I mean, we have to get the guide from the couple. Obviously, we'll we'll have to do what they wish. You know, people want to take pictures with with their families. What can we do? I mean, if they want to be strict on regulations and they don't want to be in close proximity with with family members, there's nothing we can't force them. But we are there to capture the day as beautifully as, as we can and obviously within regulations and, and interactions between us and 
and the couple is going to be very crucial because we need to discuss the day in detail. Mm. So hopefully we'll come to agreements prior to us getting to to the wedding because you don't want to get there and then you start doing back and forth because yeah. you, you're not agreeing on certain things. Yeah, no, definitely. But yeah, it's, it's a good point. We, we, we need to write such things down so that pre-consultations, we, we can discuss every single detail of wedding. And obviously, the more weddings we do, the more we'll be learning. Yeah. And the more things we'll be implementing on other weddings going forward. I mean, in, in your case also, you are seeing you are seeing brides and they tend to come with people to come uh, fit the dress yeah. or to come choose the dress. So you need your own regulations as to how you're going to handle that. I've limited people to come to my office. Okay. So you can only be the bride and one additional person. So I've limited that. I think it's better that way. Yes, okay. Because you don't want to be dealing with a lot of people. Mm. And everyone has to wear a mask. You need to sanitize at the door. Mm -hmm. So it's for my safety and for their safety. Because yes. you don't know, you know, who's been where. I mean, people don't know where I've been, for example. Yes. I don't know where they've been. I mean, they could have been anywhere. So I also need to, to be safe. So... And unfortunately, I there's a lady. I think she was like, "But why can't I bring my mom?" And 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 guys, it's a pandemic. Yes. Like we are in the middle of a pandemic. Everything I'm trying has to changed. exactly. I'm trying to protect myself, and as well, you know, the bride needs to protect herself. Exactly. So you can't come with five people, for example. It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. And the space is so small. Like you know, our space is is quite tight. So you can't bring five people so sometimes you need to to you lose business because of such things because people don't understand so imagine if a person says but because i can't bring my mom and my best friend and my sister and my you know my in-law and my mm. so i won't be coming there's nothing i can do i can't say okay okay then bring them i can't because yeah that's, that's, that's the regulation like i feel like i'll have my own rules to say I can only it can only be the bride and one additional person and mm. that's as far as I can take it. As much as we, we want money, we also need to put our safety first, yes. you know. What's the point of having money when you're no longer around? Exactly. So we need to be very careful. I mean even myself, a simple thing like a, an album. Yeah. can transmit uh, the disease and it can cause havoc. So I need to yeah. make sure that when people are viewing my stuff, I'm sanitizing them. Yeah. After they're done viewing the stuff, I'm sanitizing them. Because yeah. I'm going to take that very same product and give it to the next person That's to it. see. Yeah. You know, even within the same consultation, they pass it around themselves. Mm. So we need to be very careful. careful. But what I'm clear is the weddings are back. Yeah, I mean, it's better than nothing. I mean... I get it, people wanted to get married. Exactly. And people were saying, no, I want to get married. I want to do this. I want to do that. So at least you've got like, what, 45 people at your wedding? Because now if the venues are restricting that mm. at least five people should be staff members mm. that are working there. But I think other venues are allowed to have 50 guests then separate to the, to the staff. But it's better than nothing. I get it, it's you and your husband you guys and maybe close friends and family mm. so it's better than nothing 200 people versus 50 people yes it's a lot but you're still getting married you yeah. know for for me it matters not actually. yeah i know as long as the couple wants to go ahead with it mm. i'm happy yeah I've, I mean, I've 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 what i've got like close to 20 weddings postponed yeah in this period of five months and but now, what do you think about... Okay, sorry. What do you think about Cassie weddings versus... <laughs> versus venue weddings? Cassie weddings will, not, will, ne will never... <laughs> will never have 50 people go Kasi. Like, it's not going to happen. Even I, if I've you already, wanted to... I've already seen a couple of weddings on, on social media and... Number one, the number was not 50. Uh, 
Number two, um, no just, one was wearing masks. Yeah, no, not even a, not even a single person. And I was looking at the videos and the the screen uh, king. What do they call it? the stories on? You know, not I didn't even see one person on those pictures wearing a mask. Not even mm. one. You see, so um, it's it's tricky in the township. Yeah. You know? Um, I just had a, a wedding postponed, which was supposed to to be happening in the next couple of weeks. It, it, it's a township wedding. The only reason I suspect it, it it's postponed is because some family members tested positive, positive. at some yeah. point, and some even passed on. Some are still grieving. Yeah. Otherwise, I feel that uh, no township wedding is going to to be postponed moving yeah. forward. Yeah, you know? and it's. I'm not saying that it's sad for us that we don't do a lot of gassy weddings, but we generally don't. We don't do gassy weddings. We mm. do them, we but do they're them, not but booking us. Yeah, <laughs> we do them, but you know, we most of the time people feel that they will book us for like their white weddings at yeah, venues. Most of the so time. most of the time we do venue weddings. Yes. And not that we are, we don't want to do gassy weddings. We do want to do gassy weddings. Mm. But... That's where we started. Yeah. I mean, that's I where mean, we built the profile. Yeah. That's where we got to, to where we are right now. We, we're not choosy. We do any wedding. Yeah, I if, mean, we will come to any gassy and do wedding, do your wedding. Exactly. But, we do I think, village weddings. Yeah, we a lot of Limpopo pop- weddings we do. We exactly. Do, yeah. So for us, as long as we agree with terms, as mm. long as we agree with with money, then, then we're good. We do it. We do it. Yeah. I mean, Personally, I feel like the bride and the groom, could, like with the Kasi weddings, mm-hmm. they're the ones who can enforce the rules. Because yes. you will never tell anyone no qualification in Hori. <laughs> Uh, brother, please put on your mask. You must remember. Unless if, you know, it's in a secured street, whatever, no. you know, then maybe you can do that. But, uh, but, but you must name. remember, you must remember though that uh, in the township there hasn't really been locked down. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> to ask them to wear masks now, it's especially at the wedding. It, it's going to be a challenge and a half. I don't know how the government is planning to enforce this, but I don't see it sustainable on their yeah. end. Look, I mean, on our side, you, you you call us in the township, we go, we do it. Yeah. But we'll protect ourselves. ourselves. That's, that's what we can control. Mm. We can't control anybody Anyone else, else, you know. But yeah, I mean... Venues can can enforce rules. Yeah, because venues the numbers are controlled. You know, you know, you know, you know those uh, those balumes that Baba <laughs> Gata profile. Mm-hmm. Those are the people who are supposed to actually enforce the rules, collocationing, especially if you know it's where their family is at, mm. because their family is is at risk. Yes. So maybe those malumes and you know you know those malumes, yes. <laughs> they're the ones who are supposed to enforce. And I just pray that you know weddings will be the number will be extended. But obviously it will be it will be due to how people behave mm. and if the numbers go down. I think uh, with level one, when you move to level one, they might just increase the number to two so hundred. Yeah. And we'll probably secure more weddings. Yeah, and I hope so. We're currently sitting with a huge number of postponements mm. because of the lockdown itself. And, and the 50 number cap yeah, because right we, now. We, we were excited that, you know, weddings are opening up. Mm. Then when people confirmed to their venues to find out, so now how many people am I allowed to bring? Mm. And they were like, okay, some venues were like 45. Mm. So imagine now maybe you've paid for 200 guests. Mm. So you're going to be losing on your, on your wedding. Mm. Or some peop- some venues said 50 on the dot. Mm. And 50 including us. Yes. So 50, including the photographer, including the DJ. Yes. So. And the videographer. And the videographer. So mm. it's, it's bad. But it, it, it's not as bad as it sounds. Yeah, I know it's not. I mean, you, you can't get married with 50, 50 people. people. Yeah. You just have to keep the number to people that are very close. Very to close, you. like super you know? close to you. If you haven't spoken to someone in six months, cut them. <laughs> <laughs> cut them. 
uh, well, look, you need to make sacrifices yeah. one way or the other. You might even need to cut people's partners. Or you might just need to call family. It, it's tricky. Because but imagine now, it, it is very tricky. Imagine now, someone invites you to a wedding, mm. and then the person says, No, don't bring Tando. What, are you going to go? I'd rather open up that space for somebody so else. So you say, you No, know? it's fine. Because think fine. about it. You can bring someone else. What does 50 mean? 50 means that the, the groom. Is, uh, can bring 25 people yeah and the, the bride, bride can 25. bring 25 people so if we break it down even further let's say if they say you can bring 44 44 people because of service providers then that means 22 people from the groom yeah and 22 people from, from the, the bride. bride where do you even begin hmm? <sighs> some household in G. it's, it's 20 22 people. <laughs> within one house we have encountered friends. <laughs> we have encountered extended uh, family members. You know, so actually, now for me it would be very easy. Ah, I'll even get married with twenty five people. You mar- you got married <laughs> two hundred people, so. <laughs> but Let's now, see you cut the now if we had to do our like our renewal of the vows, ah, it will be so simple for us. Yeah, super well, simple. I but guess. yeah, shame. I I understand. Like you know, yo. I don't you want blame to invite people. you want to invite that friend, welcome Sebedzingi. Yeah. And obviously you want her to come with her partner because she'd probably be bored at the wedding because yeah. she doesn't know anyone. Yeah. And then, you know, you want your Malume from wherever to come. Mm. And Malume can't come alone. Malume has to come Limo mm. And shame, Bongosi can't go because now Tandolue too can't be left alone. So it's gonna be tricky, but I'm sure y'all will work it out. Yeah. You'll have to work it out at some point and yeah. Yeah, I think this is it. Is there yeah. something else? No, that's it. I think uh we'll, we, we, we we can't break it down. Yeah, further, we can't break it down any further. And I think the conclusion is just that keep on planning your weddings, you know, mm. keep on planning your weddings and unfortunately some people can't um postpone their weddings anymore because the space is open. Yeah. You've paid for the venue. Yeah. You might lose money in the process. Yeah. So keep on planning your weddings and see you at your wedding. That's it. That's it. See you at your wedding. Go ahead and you know get married because the the, the ultimate goal is getting married, Mus. Yeah. It's not Kore. I'd like to encourage even those who are thinking about going with 50 to just do it. Yeah, just do it. That's good for unless us. If, <laughs> unless if you want to go get married, which is like horrible. <laughs> which is horrible because, you know, you'd rather have your ceremony, have your day mm. and then sacrifice other things. Mm. I mean, it's as simple as that. Yeah. And family, I think family is more important than, you know, friends mm. and because those people will always be there. The the beauty about it is that people will understand. Yeah. It's 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 not what you wanted, but it's the situation. Yeah. So people will understand. Understand definitely. You know? So it's just yeah. that now, you just need to be, you just need to be a good friend to the person that's getting married. Yeah. If the person says, you know what, show me, show me, ish, I can't, I can't put you on the guest list. Understand. I mean, she's got family. She's got mama, 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 aunt, uncles, whatever, and. Mm. It's just unfortunate that we're going through this pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been good. Yeah, no, it, it was a lovely conversation. We actually haven't even spoken about it that much on our, yeah. ourselves, you know. Because I know we talk about weddings <laughs> a lot. <laughs> but since the regulations came out, we haven't really sat down and, and thought and, about yeah. it. Yeah. You know? But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you do have any other questions on weddings, photography, wedding gowns, please do put your comments down below. I will, however, um, get back to those comments. And don't forget to like and share this video. Uh, hopefully someone will, will like the content but, um, on this video. We'll also share the links to, yeah. to our work. On, on the description, not description, below. Yeah, we'll link it down below. So yeah. all our social media and our business 
uh, handles and yeah. our personal handles. We'll link it down below here yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Um, and look, if, if you know somebody who's getting married, maybe sharing this video to them is going to help them somehow. Mm. Please do so. You know. Or someone who was thinking of postponing their wedding, for yes. example, to say, but, you know, if I postpone to next year, what's the point? Yes. Let me rather just do it. Yes. Now share this video as much as you can. Would I appreciate it? Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.